Finding an apartment in the Netherlands is not for the weak. In a country that's not size-wise the biggest, but has a population of almost 18 million people, finding an apartment isn't easy. It's said that the Netherlands is facing one of the worst housing crises in Europe, with an estimate of a shortage of 415,000 homes in 2024. I have recently moved back to the Netherlands with my Dutch boyfriend after being gone for a while, and now we are having to face this crisis and find a new apartment. In this video series, I'll be documenting the whole process of trying to find a new apartment, moving in, and I'll be sharing with you guys everything that I learned along the way and share some tricks and tips. This first video is more of an introduction to our situation, what we're looking for, and I'll also be sharing a few tips that I've already learned. Hello everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to the first part of my new moving series video series. <laughs> Currently me and my boyfriend Roel are in the whole process of finding a new apartment and as I know that finding an apartment in the Netherlands and the whole process of it is not the easiest as there is quite a housing crisis in this country. I thought I'd bring you guys along and film this moving video series so you'll get to join me visiting different apartments and comparing them and comparing the prices. We're giving you guys some tips on how to find an apartment and how to apply for them and also then eventually moving in somewhere and decorating it and where to get the best furniture. So yeah, the whole process of moving here in the Netherlands. So if that sounds like something that interests you, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out on any of the future videos. So a little bit about me if you're new to my channel. I'm originally from Finland but I moved to the Netherlands back in August 2020 and I lived in a lovely apartment in Leiden for about three years. However, recently we went traveling for a longer time. We traveled all through Latin America you can find all those videos on my channel as well. When we went traveling, we decided to give up our lovely apartment in the center of Leiden. When we did that, we also gave up almost all of our belongings, pretty much all of our furniture. There's one coffee table that we decided to keep and some like clothes and personal items. Most of the things we either sold or gave away or recycled and so on. So now when we've come back to the Netherlands, we pretty much have to start from scratch with it all. So what kind of place? are we looking for then? So ideally the place we're looking for would have three rooms as we would want to have one extra room that we could turn into like a guest room slash study room. I would also really like the place to have some kind of like outside area so a balcony or a terrace or a little yard just something. We didn't have that in the last place and it was something that I really missed, to be honest. And third, for me, it's really important that the apartment would have hopefully a dishwasher and a washing machine or at least the possibility of installing that into the apartment. And fourth, <laughs> I would want an apartment that already has the floor installed. Yes, that's a thing here in the Netherlands. It is very common here to rent out apartments that do not have a floor. So you basically have to then buy the floor yourself and also pay someone to install it or do it yourself if you know how to do such things. And it can get quite expensive, like a few thousand euros. Yeah, for me, that has been quite a culture shock here in the Netherlands. And yeah, fifth, maybe I would like the apartment to be a little bit bigger than our previous place. Well, I guess if it has three rooms, it most likely will. So our previous apartment was like 55 square meters. So if we could get even 60 square meters, that would already be great. And sixth thing that's quite important, I would like the location to be nice. And I would also like there to be like a good public transport connections so that it would be easy to just jump on a train or tram or bus or whatever and head to wherever you need to head to. However, I do realize that all of these, I think six things that I now listed are maybe not possible. I might have to compromise with something, but hopefully I could find a place with all of my six criterias, but only time will tell. So where would we like to live? At the moment we are leaning against moving to The Hague. So The Hague is basically the political capital here in the Netherlands. It's located quite like in between Rotterdam and Amsterdam. So if there's like let's say a one hour train ride between those two cities, The Hague is like 
in between them. So it's about a half an hour train ride to Amsterdam and half an hour train ride to Rotterdam. So it's ideally a bit in the middle of it all. And as we used to live in Leiden, most of our friends are still living in Leiden. So this way we could move to a new place, but still be really close to the friends that we have here, which would be very ideal. And also my boyfriend Rol, his workplace is here in The Hague. So that would also work out greatly in that aspect. We are a bit flexible with it though, if we would happen to find the absolute perfect apartment in let's say Delft, then we might also consider that. But It'll be somewhere in this region though. So when applying for apartments in the Netherlands, you need to be prepared for the fact that the renters will ask you a lot of questions and a lot of like proof to see that you'll actually be able to pay for the apartment. And there's usually also a lot of requirements for renting out certain places. For example, a very common requirement is that you need to earn three times the amount of the rent. So let's say if the rent is 1000 euros, then you need to have a salary of 3000 euros. And another really common thing that renters ask from you is proof of the fact that you are earning that amount of money. So you might have to show three months worth of pay slips, uh, employment contract. Um, sometimes they want to see statements from your bank account. Um, yeah, a bunch of things. Personally, for me, this was a bit of a culture shock because back in Finland, no one will ever ask you any things like that. However, our issue now is that because we've been traveling for a longer time, we don't have three months worth of pay slips to show for. That has given us some issues when applying for apartments. Another thing is that we don't have any furniture. So if we would now move into a completely like empty apartment, we would have to, like, like I said, start from scratch and get everything. We already have quite a lot on our plates at the moment as we're trying to get settled back into life here in the Netherlands. So our solution for these two things was that what if we would rent out a temporary apartment instead? So what's different with these temporary apartments is that, well, you're usually only allowed to stay for max six months, but the criteria for getting a temporary apartment are usually a little bit lower they will still ask you for as much proof as possible to make sure that you will indeed be able to pay for the rent but things like three months worth of pay slips is not necessarily a must and also most of these temporary apartments are already furnished which in our ears sounded like a much better solution for now so that's what we've decided to do this way we can also get more familiar with the city of the hague and see which neighborhoods we like and which we don't so then when we're applying for a long-term apartment we know where we want to live and where we do not want to live so after we decided that we started applying instead for temporary apartments still even if it was temporary apartments it was surprisingly difficult to find a place more difficult than what I thought. Only a fraction of them even replied, which was really frustrating. But eventually one place replied and they showed two different apartments to us. In the end, one of these apartments we managed to get for ourselves. And spoiler alert, I'm actually already filming this video at our new apartment in the city center of The Hague where we moved a few days ago. But more about this apartment and moving into a temporary apartment and all that in my next video. I still want to share with you guys some tips and tricks which might help you if you're looking for an apartment here in the Netherlands as I know it can be a very very frustrating experience. So probably one of the most common questions I get is where one should look for an apartment like how can you find one and apply for one even to begin with personally I search for apartments on a website called Pararius it's like one of the more popular apartment websites here in the Netherlands and both this temporary apartment and the apartment that we lived in back in Leiden we found through that website I know there's a lot of websites that ask you to pay for their services and that you have to pay for like a subscription to be allowed to sign up and to contact the uh, renters and stuff but I don't think this is necessary to be honest. Hello from editing Yannicka. 
So since I filmed this video, it's already been a few months. So some of my opinions have maybe changed a little bit. I've also learned some new things since then. So I'm just gonna add those things to this video through my webcam whilst editing. Currently, we are actually experimenting a little bit more with different kind of websites. Um, I'm afraid since the last times we've looked for apartments, the situation has gotten even worse. So only checking websites like Pararius and Funda is maybe not enough. So yeah, we've signed up for a bunch of different websites, some that you have to pay for and some that are free. So one that you have to pay for is a website called Rent Slam. What this website does is that it just sends you all the apartments it can find on different websites that match the criteria that you have. Although this one was quite expensive, it's 30 euros for a month, which is quite a lot just for the fact that it works as an algorithm almost. Yeah, I'm gonna see a bit if that one's worth it or not, because so far it hasn't really shown me apartments that I wouldn't have found otherwise, to be honest. So we will see about that. Then we have also like registered like directly with different rental agencies. So a lot of these rental companies have their own website with their own apartments they will usually be listed on places like Pararius but in order for you to be allowed to then actually apply for viewings and for these apartments you need to register with them first and like give your basic information and liba laba most of those are free so it is good to do that like I said we are now experimenting with these different companies and I don't know yet which ones work which ones don't I will let you guys know as said this is a journey of finding an apartment and I will keep you guys posted and share with you what I learned along the way. I know there's a lot of like Facebook groups where people are posting about apartments that are available but if you do use Facebook please please be very very careful because of this whole housing crisis there is also a lot of people trying to take advantage of the fact that they know that people are very desperate on trying to find an apartment unfortunately these facebook groups are full of scammers so be very very careful when looking or applying for any of those okay something i want to add to this i do think there is one big exception for when to check out also facebook and i would say that is if you are looking for roommates or looking for people who are looking for roommates. I think especially for students and student housing, it is common that, you know, apartments are shared. Usually people will go on to these different Facebook groups and look for roommates there. So especially if you're a student looking for a place in the Netherlands, then I would recommend checking that. But yeah, as said, be careful with it. Another thing, if you see a post about an apartment that's available, but they specifically say that you are not allowed to register to that apartment, then that's a big red flag. It is actually illegal to rent out a place where you're not allowed to register. And it is also illegal for you to live somewhere where you are not registered here in the Netherlands. So you might get in trouble for that. So try and avoid a place like that when applying for an apartment treat that application as almost as a job application don't just send a message saying hey i'm interested in this apartment or hey when can i come and see this apartment or hey i'm looking for an apartment i would like to move here nothing just generic like that write a little like introduction of yourself tell them why would you want this apartment why are you moving what's your occupation maybe mention what your salary is like doesn't have to be anything super long and probably shouldn't but write like one or two paragraphs about yourself and a bit of a motivation for why would you want that apartment you are also more likely to get a response when you send in a message like that because these places might get hundreds of messages of people applying for these places so if there's 150 messages just saying hey I'm interested in this, in this place, but they know nothing about you versus there will be an actual application where you tell about yourself. You are more likely to be then chosen out of all of those people. There was one more tip that was shared with me, but I'm not convinced yet that that tip works. And that is to visit the offices of the renting companies. We tried doing this and it was a failure. The assistant who worked there wouldn't like even let us in to talk to the people working there. She just said, yeah, no, 
not possible so it ended up actually being quite a waste of time i'm not sure if this is something we're still gonna try maybe it was just the wrong company i don't know but i'll let you guys know about that as well that is all i have now for this video if you're someone looking for an apartment here in the netherlands Good luck for you. I know it is not easy. And even though we now were able to find this temporary apartment, like said, it is just a temporary apartment. So in a few months from now, we're gonna have to start looking for a more permanent place. And yeah, but I will bring you guys along on every step of the way. I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions, I can try my best and help answer them. But yeah, keep in mind, I'm no like, expert in this matter i'm just sharing my own experiences and what has helped me and yeah i'm of course happy to help where i can that's about it for this video i'll see you guys again on my next video thank you for watching bye bye